Hey, what's up you guys? MRJ33352 coming at you with a movie review of 22 Jump Street. Now, this movie was cool. I liked it. And the way it ended, they can set up sequels for part 3, 23, 24, 25, 26, Jump Street. Um, there were cheesy moments in the movie like, um, uh, let's talk about how much the movie made first. Um, Thursday midnight showings, the movie made 5.5 million. Friday alone, in total, it made 26 million. The weekend box office gross was its number one in America, and it made 60 million. How to Train Your Dragon came in at number two with 50, and the Angelina Jolie Cinderella movie came in at number three with 19 or 20 million. Where there are cheesy moments, I get a movie about a uh, eight. Were there cheesy moments in the movie? Yeah. It has some moments, but then it has its, it was enough explanation where it picked back up again. There was a relationship between two, I'm not going to say who, that was kind of gayish and kind kind of um, like Beavis and Butthead or kind of like, um, like, dude, I like sandwich on my mayonnaise too. Dude, me too. Oh, dude, my favorite color is red too. Dude. My favorite color is blue, too. You know? It's kind of like, uh... And they dragged that out for quite a while. And I was like, uh, okay, I get it. They have a lot in common. But then the writers broke it down to where they had it to where it, it, it slowly started disappearing. And it was like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. So the movie was good, you know. They were funny. Chad and Tatum and that other guy, they were funny. Ice Cube was funny. Captain Dickinson, I think his name is. And it was cool. It was cool. You know, that was, I, I always like movies like that, and they don't tell you the killer is till the end or if it's a setup or something. I always like to figure out who the bad guy is. But in this one, I couldn't figure it out. So on that note, this is a quick movie review because uh, I'm tired. <laughs> and that's it. So... Um, if you think Chad and Tatum or the other guy is funny and Ice Cube, go ahead and check it out. You won't be disappointed. You don't have to wait to red box it. It's well worth getting up, getting dressed, and going to check out. And um, that's how I feel. All right, y'all. My next movie review should be Think Like a Man 2. That comes out this weekend coming up. And um, that's it. So I'll see you, YouTube. Till next time. Peace. Peace.